guys, this is Teacher SP and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to share to you about the calculus. How are you going to find the limit of a function? And we're talking about the limit of quotient of function and limit of power of function. So if you are interested in this video, let's begin. <music> The definition of the limit of quotient of function is equal to limit of fx over g of x when x approaches to k. So that will be equal to limit of fx, x approaches to k over limit g of x when x approaches to k provided that g of x is not equal to zero. Why? What happened to your equation if your denominator is equal to zero? And that is what we call undefined. So any number, any constant, but the denominator is equal to zero, the, the answer there is undefined. So this is what we call the limit of quotient of function. And let us apply now in our example. So I have here an example number one. Limit x over 2 when x approaches to 2. Okay, so let us use the definition of a limit of quotient of a function. So how are we going to simplify this? So limit x when x approaches to 2 over limit 2 when x approaches to 2. Okay, so how are we going to do that? So since the value of your x is equal to 2, so that will be equal to 2 over 2 or 1. Okay, so that is the limit of x over 2 when x approaches to 2. Number 2, limit x plus 5 over 3x minus 2 when x approaches to 2. So let us simplify here. So limit x plus 5 over limit 3x minus 2. So what are we going to do? Let us substitute the value which x approaches to 2. So that will be 2 plus 5 over 3 times 2 minus 2. So 2 plus 5 is equal to 7 over 3 times 2 is equal to 6 minus 2. So 7 over 4. So this is now the limit of x plus 5 over 3x minus 2 when x approaches to 2. Okay, next we have the limit of power of function. So the definition of this limit of power of function is equal to limit f of x 
raised to n, where n here is the power and x approaches to k. So therefore, if you're going to simplify this, is equal to limit of f of x raised to n when x approaches to k. So let us apply now our example. I have here an example number one. Let us get the limit of x to the fourth power when x approaches to 2. Become limit of x to the fourth when x approaches to 2. So let us simplify limit x raised to the fourth power. So since x approaches to 2, let us substitute now. So that will be 2 raised to the fourth power. So meaning when you are going to simplify 2 raised to the 4th power, that is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 and times 2. So simplify 2 times 2 is equal to 4. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. 8 times 2 is equal to 16. So this is now the limit of x to the 4th power when x approaches to 2. Okay, so let us proceed now to example number two. I have here example number two. Let us get the limit of x squared plus 2x plus 1 when x approaches to 9 using the power, limit of power of a function. So if you are going to simplify this, since x approaches to 9, let us substitute 9 here in our equation x squared. So 9 squared plus 2 times 9 plus 1. So 9 squared is equal to 9 times 9 will give you 81 plus 2 times 9 will give you 18 plus 1. So let us simplify. 81 plus 18 will give you 99 plus 1 will give you 100. So therefore, the limit of x squared plus 2x plus 1 when x approaches to 9 is equal to 100. That's it, guys. How are you going to get the limit of a quotient of a power of and power of a function? And I hope that you learned something today. It's all about calculus. Don't forget to subscribe like and tap the notification bell so that you will be updated for whatever videos I'm going to upload. Have a great day, everyone.